Welcome to the Tour de Zwift course presentation. This January, we're gonna be bringing you everything that's great about Zwift under one roof. The best maps and courses and the ultimate experience of riding along with thousands of other people just like you would in the real world in a Grand Fondo. But it's not a race, more a giant party on wheels and a wonderful way to experience Zwift. Zwift has five worlds and you'll be riding them all. So Watopia, London, Richmond, Innsbruck and New York. This tour has it all. Start strong and finish even stronger. Nine days of riding and events all month long. If you're new to Zwift, joining the tour is simple. Just head to zwift.com forward slash TDZ or sign up using the Zwift companion app, which is available on Android and iOS. And there's slots available all month long, so it shall easily fit into your schedule. Ride as many stages as you like, and don't worry if you miss a stage, because we'll be scheduling two makeup days at the end of the tour. And finish the tour itself, and you get to unlock the official Tour de Swift kit. So, to recap, nine stages, five worlds, open to all. The tour opens with stage one in Watopia, which is Zwift's very own fantasy island. Now get this, you'll even get to pedal under the sea. And you might even need a mosquito as we head deep into the jungle. Usually you need to be a level 10 Zwifter or above to ride in the jungle. But if you join a group ride on the Tour de Zwift, it doesn't matter. Now the stage itself starts with a gently undulating 13 kilometers, then a short steep climb, and then a lovely drop and a descent into the Mayan ruins with its temples, waterfalls, and stunning views. For stage two, we're escaping to New York, Zwift's newest world. And when we mean new, we mean new, new, because Zwift have reimagined New York's Central Park 100 years into the future, in 2120. And the sky is really the limit here. This one will blow your socks off. Stage two, we're taking a big bite out of the everything bagel. Now this route covers all of the roads in New York City, on the ground and above it, and takes in such mega sites as the Met Museum, the Plaza, and even the reimagined Zwift High Line. We'll hit the Kingdom Mountains and the Sprint segments from both directions. So plenty of climbing, but lots of nice fast descending as well. For stage three, we're moving across the pond to my hometown, of London. Now, this world is based on the Prudential Ride London, which is the world's largest sportif. Now, if you think London is flat, think again, because we start off with a few circuits at the centre of the heart of the city, then we move out into the rolling Surrey Hills and the fierce climb of Keith Hill. Yes, Keith. Around and around the volcano we go on stage four because we're back to Utopia. Now, first off, we start on the flat, an opportunity to get us nice and warmed up before the first big ascent. Now, this isn't the hardest climb at all in Zwift, but it is a taster of what's to come. So maybe go for a KOM, personal best perhaps. Just make sure you stay hydrated because that lava is pretty warm. Stage five and time to celebrate and ride some cobbles as we're at the halfway point of the tour. And we're in Richmond, Virginia, the site of the 2015 World Road Race Championships, which was the first world in Zwift based on a real course. It's got some short, really punchy climbs up Libby Hill and 23rd Street, but make sure you pace yourself on the first flat part of the course, because at the back end, the climbs come in real rapid succession. They're short, but flip, they sting. Next up is the Queen stage. Stage six will be a pivotal one, and certainly the most demanding, as we return to Utopia, Zwifter's favorite world. We'll start off at the Mayan ruins, and then, well, it's the Alp de Zwift. With over a thousand meters of climbing, this is the biggest mountain in Zwift, and it's based on Alp d'Huez, the iconic climb as used on multiple occasions in the Tour de France. Just make sure you pace yourself and don't blow, because you'll be facing between an hour and an hour and a half of climbing. But get up and you'll be on top of the world, or Watopia. Pack your bags, we're heading for Innsbruck, Austria, as stage seven sees us riding the 2018 UCI World Road Championships short course, essentially bringing the Alps into your home, minus the wild animals and the rather chilly snow. 
Stage seven will be scenic, yet very challenging. After a quick spin around the beautiful Innsbruck streets, you'll head under the Autobahn and on to the climb, which is split into three distinct sections with plateaus in between. Oh, and don't forget to say hi to the Swarovski Giants. You've made it to stage eight, and it's London calling again, and this time for a quick loop around the city before heading to the iconic climb of Box Hill, the very same climb that was used in the 2012 Olympic Games road race. The last two stages have really tested the legs, but compared to the Alp, this is a mere speed bump. You're nearly there. Then it's back to NYC, New York City, for stage nine. After all of your hard graft, it's time to hit the perimeter for a cruise around the park. Have a hot dog. Check out the robot horses. Um, don't forget to look upwards as well. Enjoy this one, you burnt it. Whether it's your first tour or the next one on your list, make sure you sign up and join us. The Tour de Zwift starts on January the 3rd, so head to zwift.com forward slash TDZ to register. You know what to do. Make sure you don't miss it.